I saw Greg in now I understand. I saw Greg in the cracking that pain. Hello, Krakens. We are super excited about this year. It's obviously a different year, but we know it's going to be an awesome one. So we're going to kick us right off with talking about some of the great things about our school. So first up is our vision. Remember, countless possibilities, limitless potential. That is exactly what you get at KTech because we're going to prepare you for so many different things that you will be ready to do whatever it is you choose to do, which you'll see in our mission, making sure that you are ready for the next stage in your life. The biggest part here is your chosen pathway. We want to make sure that you realize that no matter what you choose to do in your next stage in life, KTech is going to have prepared you for that because you'll be ready for going straight into college, going into an amazing job, or obviously doing whatever it is you choose in your next stage of your life. Core values. Ms. Painter is going to tell you a little bit about those. Good morning, Krakens. Here at KTech, we have 10 core values that we would like you to exemplify each and every day. We will emphasize those each month, but the core values here at Crane are wellness, diversity, relationships, community, engagement, leadership, relevance, perseverance, service, and rigor. So we also have our PBIS, Kraken's Care. Care stands for cooperative, accountable, respectful, and engaged. So when you are tweeting, we want you to make sure you use all of our amazing hashtags, Kraken's Care, as well as our Kraken-tastic, our new hashtag for the year. We have various ways that you can be up to date with information on our website, our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram handles. So make sure you tag Kraken's Care and Kraken-tastic. Hey Krakens, Rob Aegis here, Mr. Aegis from Fred K. Marchman Technical College and we want to welcome you uh, back to a new school year, an exciting school year 2020-2021. As Dr. Donnie mentioned, it is going to be a year like none other, totally unprecedented, but we can do this together. Hey, we're going to start from across the street with our mission and that is Fred K. Marchman Technical College provides student-centered learning guided by the needs of business to provide the knowledge and skills necessary for today's workforce. And we are coming right off of your chosen pathways from Wendell Crin right into Fred K. Marchman Technical College. Along with the many core values you have here at Wendell Crin Technical High School, we have six of our own that kind of dovetail and work together. That is professionalism, motivation, collaboration, diversity, adaptability, and of course, perseverance. With professionalism, we want you guys to value integrity. We need you to help us with cooperation. That's where that collaboration comes in. Wearing a mask at all times. Social distancing is critical. And always staying sanitized is really, really important. Not just for your health, but for the health of others and everyone you're learning around you. So we would appreciate that as well. Stay motivated each and every day. Come to school ready to go. Leave what you have at home, at home. Come on in, get ready to go right here at Wendell Crane Technical High School and over at Fred K. Marchman Technical College. Hey, in these trying times, we all have to adapt, right? That's really, really important because we never know what's coming our way, whether we be here, brick and mortar, or we be online. We've gotta be ready to go at all times. And we being together, collaboration is really, really important. We've got to work together as a team, both schools, Wendell Print Technical High School and Fred K. Marchman Technical College. Hey, with that being said, it's really, really important that we value and respect each and every one of you. We all have given talents. We all need to accentuate those and accept those talents from each and every individual. And then with that being said, each and every day we've got to persevere. Persevere through the hard times to make the better times that much better. So with that being said, those are the core values. We want you to have a great year. We're doing everything we possibly can to help you through this year very, very trying times. Remember, we're all learning through this together. We all need to support each other through this endeavor and through this school year. So, good luck and congratulations in the 2020-21 school year. So it's really important for you to stay connected with your teachers and all of the important information that we are giving out here at KTech regarding the school and your courses. 
So there are two places that you can access that information and communication, and that is through your My Student email, which is your student number at student.pasco.k12.fl.us, and also on your My Learning Canvas email. So it's really important that you check those emails daily because you can have communication coming from administration, from your teachers, anybody on our campus and in the Pasco County School Board. So make sure you're checking those emails every day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mr. Johnson. I'm the sponsor for Student Council at Wendell Crenn. Student Council is the governing body for the students at Wendell Crenn. Uh, we represent the students. We interact and liaison with the administration. We plan different activities, homecoming week, prom, different events. Uh, we have our Student Council elections coming up. If you're interested in participating in Student Council elections, you can download a campaign application from your grade level Canvas course. Every student has a grade level Canvas course on your My Student Connect or from the, past, from the Wendell Crenn website. I'd also like to introduce you to your class sponsors. So for the class of 2021, we have Ms. Devonzo and Ms. Hanratty. For the class of 2022, we have Ms. Winderoth. For the class of 2023, Ms. Ward. And for the class of 2024, our new freshman, we have Mr. Murrum. Please take the time to introduce yourself to your class sponsors, and if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you. All right, obviously with some of these changes this year, the mask is going to be a vital piece. You do need to be wearing your mask at all times. That means throughout our campus. That means as you're walking on the Marchman Trail, as you enter Marchman's campus in their classrooms, everywhere you go, you do need to be wearing your mask. We do wanna let you know that obviously at lunch, if you are sitting down, eating and drinking, you do not need to be wearing your mask mask <laughs> but as soon as you do finish eating or drinking you need to put your mask back on we're trying to do this to keep everybody as safe as possible you don't want to be the one that gets all of your friends sick and causes them to miss school and be unhealthy and obviously have all the issues that people are having we also want to make sure that you wash and or switch out to a clean mask on a regular basis that way you don't pick up those viruses they have to be clean or they won't keep you safe all right guys do you want to make sure you understand our traffic patterns these are for your own safety you need to make sure that you are following these patterns during passing so you have a four minute passing period this is to make sure that you are not walking and going face to face against another student they're not breathing on you it's keeping everybody safe so please make sure you follow these i know you might see your classroom right there and it would be so easy to just cut across but you do need to follow these during the passing period if you're not in passing, when the hallways are empty, you can go against that traffic pattern to get to the bathroom more quickly, to get to the counselor, clinic, whatever it is that you're doing. But during the four minute passing, you have to follow this. We don't want students to get in trouble and get referrals for this, but most importantly, we don't want kids to get sick and have issues health-wise because you're not following these patterns. So please make sure you're doing that. And keep in mind, the same type of thing is happening at Marchman. So when you get next door on Marchman Technical College's campus, you also have patterns that you need to follow there. Thank you. Hi students, I'm Corporal Paul Acasio. I'm your school resource officer. So I'm here today to introduce myself to you and welcome you back to school. I'd like to talk to you about a few things. First of all, when we do our drills for the active threat plan, I'd like you to take them seriously because I take them very seriously for your safety and mine, for you to know what to do in case of an emergency. Second thing that I'd like to talk about is absolutely no vape pens on campus. I take them very seriously as well, and you will be issued a citation from me. You will also suffer school consequences along with having to pay a $25 fine and having to take a $20 class um, that is on a Saturday that you have to take or you can lose your license or not be able to get your permit or get your license if you have your permit already. And then the last thing I'd like to say, absolutely no drugs on campus. You never know when the drug dog will be here. I can come randomly, and if you are caught with anything, consequences will be handed down. I hope you have a great year, and I'm here if you need anything. Good morning, Krakens. I'm John Cavalieri, and I do discipline here at KTEC. A lot of people call me Cav, so if you wonder who Cav is, I'm Cav. All right, let's go over a few things to get us on the right track this year. Please make sure we get to class in Tommy Manor. Uh, do not congregate in halls, waiting for the bell to ring. We do keep track of tardies here at K-Tech, so uh, they add up quickly. If you get three tardies, you can get discipline. 
um, and you can receive a referral. Um, we do call on every referral this year, so if you think your parents aren't going to find out, they're going to find out because i got to call them. All students who attend Marshman College have to use the Marshman Trail when they go to Marshman, and you can't uh, walk over there from our parking lot. So please come on campus, use our trail. We're not going to mix students and traffic coming in. Uh, you can't park over there either, so their carpool over there is going to be, going to be patrolling. So if you park over there, we're going to find out. So don't park over there. Okay, just like yesterday, it can rain any time here in Florida. So uh, please bring an umbrella or poncho, rain jacket, because it's going to open up on us. Uh, if we know ahead of time, we'll get a bus, but a lot of times it's spontaneous and it just happens, so be prepared. All right, K-Tech is a closed campus. So what that means is once you're here, you're here for the entire day. You can't come and go as you please. Uh, you can't use your car as a locker. You can't eat lunch in your car. You can't hang out in your car during lunch. Um, the big one is you can't uh, come and go and go like to Wendy's during lunch to get something to eat. You have to stay there. A lot of students think they can go and get, go to McDonald's or whatever. You can't do it. All right, if you need to go to your vehicle for any reason, you have to be escorted by an administrator, corporal, myself, and adult here on campus. And if, since it is a closed campus, if you have to leave early, you have to have a parent call and sign you out. And if you don't do it that way, then you skip it. All right, I want you to know that uh, I'm here for all of you. And if you need anything, I'll do my best to help you. A lot of students trust me. Uh, they tell me uh, things of confidence. And if you tell me something of confidence, I'll never give your name out. I will never put you in that position. And if I did that, no one would ever tell me anything. So uh, it's two-way street. Also, real quick, sexting. Don't take pictures of yourself and send it over the airway to your boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay? You're all underage here. It's pornography. It's a big, trust me, just don't do it, okay? It causes a lot of problems. All right, let's have a good year. Thanks a lot. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Williams. I'm an assistant principal here at K-Tech. I do the alphabet L through Z. So um, welcome to K-Tech, and we're having a great year so far. I'm going to talk a little bit about consequences for referrals. Uh, we, we do a, a bunch of different things uh, here, and we, we try to, at least for lower level referrals, uh, have the teachers handle that through detentions um, and, and other consequences. But uh, remember that we do have, uh, we don't have ISS here, and instead of ISS, we use alternative to suspension, and that happens on Saturday. So we'll call that Saturday school, and that's from 9 a.m. to noon here at K Tech in the media. If you don't want to come to school on Saturday, don't get in trouble. Um, then also, if we can't um, you know, host you for Saturday school or if we have multiple infractions, we may give you after school detention. So uh, Mr. Cavalieri would be heading up our after school detention and uh, you can spend some time in there doing your homework. Right? So uh, let's, let's be all well behaved as much as possible and we won't have any of these issues. Okay? Thanks. J, school counselor for students with last name A through K, and I am here to introduce our student services team. Um, besides myself, we have Miss Luddington, who is a school counselor for students with the last name L through Z. We also have Mr. Martindale, who is our graduation enhancement SSAP, and Mr. Knowles, our social worker. If you would like to schedule an appointment to come see Miss Luddington or myself, please go to the Wendell Crins website and look for the link to request an appointment with us. When you do fill out our mock form to come and see us, all of the things that we will see you for are graduation requirements, ACT and SAT registration, and fee waivers. We support you in your academic and your social emotional needs. Uh, we promote student engagement. We encourage students, parents, and our community involvement. And we are also here for you for your community and school-based resources. Remember that although these are the things that you can request to um, put on your, our mock form, but if you ever have an emergency or a crisis, please go to the closest adult and tell them that you need to see us right away and they can give us a call and we are here for you. Also, follow us on Twitter at KTech Counselors. Good afternoon, Krakens. I'm Mrs. Luddington. I'm the school counselor with students with the last name L through Z, and I'm going to review your graduation requirements. One of the biggest goals that all of our students should have is to graduate high school. So we need to make sure we have four credits of English, four credits of math, three credits of science. One of those needs to be biology. 
we need to have three social studies credits, one performing art credit, one PE credit, and eight electives. Your program classes do count for most of those elective credits. Your testing requirements, there's two tests you have to take in and pass in order to graduate. That's the Algebra 1 EOC and the 10th grade FSA ELA. You will be required to take the Biology EOC, a U.S. History EOC, and a Geometry EOC. Thank you. Hey, it's Mr. Williams again. I wanted to talk about tardies and attendance and passing. Um, just note that we have four minutes passing here. Uh, we're a large campus, so that means you've got to hustle on to your next class. Um, there is a little bit of a, a cushion for the students traveling across Marchman Trail to uh, their, their classes, but we built that into the schedule, so there shouldn't be an issue. Um, in terms of tardies, we say that five per month, ten per semester is excessive. So. Um, at that point, you know, probably the teachers are, have already notified Mr. Cavalieri or myself or one of the other administrators about you being consistently tardy and then we would have addressed that with you. But at the point that we get to five per month or ten per semester, then you're absolutely going to get a referral for that and, and possibly Saturday school. In terms of passes, you, you notice these from your classrooms that your teachers use when you go to different places on campus, the media center, the bathroom. Um, that we'll, we'll continue to use these, but we've also put in place, due to COVID, a system where uh, the, the teachers are going to have a QR code in their classroom that you'll scan on your phone so that you don't have to physically touch the pass. And then when you're in the hall, if we have a question about why, why you're in the hall, then you can show us on your phone um, you know, that, that you have a pass from your teacher to be out of class. So many of your teachers will be implementing that and we're building that out as we speak. So, um, but if your restroom use or your, your use of passes is excessive, then you may get loss of privileges, meaning we're just going to not allow you to be in the hall. So if we have issues uh, of things going on during uh, class uh, in the bathrooms and whatnot, uh, we're pretty good about investigating that with our cameras and, and figuring out what's going on. But we can also put you on like what's the no-fly list. Um, and, and basically, you will have to have an escort to, to leave class if you need to go somewhere. Okay. Um, on to other things, we have uh, forms on our website that you'll see under parents and students links to requesting excused absences. Um, that, that you know when you're out, certainly um, you, you can get you can be absent, but then we would prefer that you set your parent or um, you bring in a doctor's note to excuse that absence. Um, the way that you will submit that for uh, to be excused to our attendance secretary. Uh, Ms. Olin is to go onto our website and you'll see links to forms there. There's two. There's one for excusing a, um, a previous absence, um, which we really want to promote. And then the other is for if you're planning a trip or something coming up that you, you have to go to, uh, a family event or, or something like that, then you can submit that form uh, uh, via the, the website as well. Okay? And now I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Leary from Archman and she's going to talk about their attendance policy. Good morning, Krakens. I'm Alicia Leary, Assistant Director at Fred K. Marchman Technical College. I would like to remind you about the importance of attendance. You will complete your program at Marchman when you have earned the hours to do so. Failure to be in attendance to your program means that you will not earn your hours to complete your program. So when you are thinking about planning those family vacations, just keep in mind that you have lots of breaks and holidays to do so. But if you choose to do that during our school calendar time, you will not be earning those hours in order to complete your program. We want you to be in attendance to your programs at least 95% of the time this school year. It is very important that you take advantage of this opportunity and attend each and every minute that you have available to do so. 11th and 12th graders, just remember that when you miss one day of Marchman, you're missing like three days of one of your other classes because you're there with us for three periods. We want you to be here each and every day that you are healthy and well so that when you are not that you have the time in order to take care of yourself and your family and those around you. Thank you everyone. Have a great day. All right, Zap and Academic Lunch. Guys, it is 
vital that you complete all of your assignments here at KTech. It's vital you complete the assignments anywhere you're at because you're not going to learn the information if you don't practice. And so that's why in-class assignments, homework assignments, all of that is vital to you, not only for that knowledge that you're gaining, but also for your grades. Zeros absolutely kill your grades. So if you do not complete assignments and have a zero, our teachers will be submitting your names to our student discipline assistants and they will be letting you join them for lunch. So you will actually go to room 104 during lunch to complete and make up those missing assignments. You will not be able to eat with your friends until those assignments are completed. So just do them in class when they're being offered, do them at home when it's homework so you can still enjoy lunch with your friends. All right, Krakens, so we do still have a dress code here and we do have to adhere by it each and every day. So we wanna ensure that you are reading your student code of conduct if you have any questions as to what you can and cannot wear. But just some of the highlights, we wanna make sure that once you get your IDs that you do have them on you at any time. So if someone asks you who you are and wants to present it, you have it to present to them. No spaghetti straps, ladies, okay? Make sure that your shirts are have sleeves. Make sure they're not bikini tops, tank tops, tubes tops, or spaghetti straps. Make sure that your garments are solid. No visible undergarments should be seen through your uh, garments. Also, tops, they must come from armpit to armpit to make sure that everything is completely covered and appropriate within the district policy. So we understand that the tube tops and those crop tops are really in style right now, but we really have to ensure that we have no bare midriffs happening on campus. Save those for at home on the weekends and evenings. Make sure that your leggings, we know those are very in style right now as well. We do not allow leggings or yoga pants, but they are, there's some jeggings and stuff out there that are probably a little bit more appropriate. Um, just make sure that if you do wear them, that your shirt is long enough to cover your bottom. Shorts and skirts must not be any shorter than four inches above the knee. Make sure that you are using shirts and clothing that is appropriate for school, no vulgar language or profanity or offensive images or symbols. You get to wear hats at KTech, so congratulations. You can wear a cool hat, but make sure that if you do wear a hoodie, that the hood is not over your head and no do-rags. So make sure that if you're wearing appropriate hats, that they are just hats and that you have no vulgar images or symbols on any of your clothing or hats or anywhere on your being. For those students who go over to the Marchman Trail, we wanna just make sure that one, again, remember that this weather, the skies can open at any moment. So it is your responsibility to make sure that you bring either a poncho or an umbrella, because if it is not lightning and thundering, you will be responsible for still heading over there. So make sure that you protect yourself by bringing that poncho or that umbrella to keep yourself dry. Make sure that you are going straight over to Marchman and straight back at your time so that you can get to classes on time, both over there and here. So hurry there, hurry back. Also, make sure that there, reminder, there is no parking on the Marchman campus. So if you're a KTEC student, you have to park in our back lot, in our parking lot on the KTEC campus. No parking at Marchman. For those students who attend Marchman during the B block, you will be hanging over here in our cafeteria until 10:15. If you need to do a grab and go lunch at that time because your lunch is later in the day, you can also pick one up in the cafeteria and go ahead and eat on your way over to Marchman. All right, for transportation, the biggest issues here are obviously if you have a transportation question, you can always call the district transportation department at 727-774-0400. You can find that on our website, the district website, I should say. And also, if you are coming in on a bus that is running late, make sure you grab one of the passes from our staff out there. That way you can show that to your teachers you're coming in. That is your tardy slip or get free tardy slip for that day. Student parking, we've kind of covered a little bit, but the key points are is that you do have to park in the back parking lot. You have to have paid your fee by September 4th, because that's when we're gonna start ticketing or doing things with cars that we don't really wanna to have to do. So please make sure you get that taken care of, you get your hang tag. If you are a student that has to leave campus, you have special permission to be outside of that gate. You must be one of those students who you, has already talked to us and has special permission to be parked outside the gate, or we will obviously be locking down your car. 
So please make sure you know where you need to park. Everybody's inside the student parking gate unless you have special permission. That also means Marchman. You cannot again park on Marchman's campus. You have to park on our campus even if you were only here for Marchman. So if you're one of those few people who are coming just for the three period block and you're coming for that for Marchman only, you still have to park on our campus. All right, so we want to talk a little bit about our clubs. That's one of the things that we really pride ourselves in is that we don't have sports, uh, and athletics, and other um, traditional things in high school like band, but we do have these clubs that are pretty amazing. So we have a wide range of them. I think there's more than 25 different clubs and student organizations on campus. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we've had to suspend in-person club meetings during the first nine weeks. So hopefully this is all cleared up and we can continue to uh, do our Wednesday club meetings um, in, in second quarter. But uh, we will have a club fair during um, probably A lunch and B lunch um, for students to kind of go to different tables to see the clubs that uh, we have, find out more information about them from the students who are already in those clubs, and then potentially sign up. Um, so look for a date on that and we'll announce that at lunch when we, we do have the club fair planned. But that's a, an opportunity for you guys to get involved in some pretty cool things that we have going on campus. Have a great school year!